Recently, I've been asked to make a tutorial showing how to handle offsets and seam allowances in Pattern Maker. I have up a fitting bodice sloper and I'm going to show you how to use the offset command and the seam allowance command in both the Professional Studio and the Deluxe Editor. The first thing I'm going to do is move the pieces apart a bit to allow me to have some room to work. In Pattern Maker, both the offset command and the seam allowance command need closed objects to work. That means that this object has to be completely connected without any spare lines. I know when I run a macro that the objects are closed. But if you're drafting from scratch, you're going to want to make sure that you've closed everything before using the seam allowance or offset command. The next thing that gives the seam allowance or offset command a bit of trouble are these darts. So I'm going to close them up and I'm going to do one in the professional studio and one in the deluxe editor to show you how to handle them. In the professional studio, you can go draw, dart, Note the command bar asks you to enter the point to fold. I left click to select the point, right click to tell the computer I'm done selecting. Now it asks me to enter the point to fold to. Left click to select, right click to tell the computer I'm done selecting. Enter the dart apex, left click to select, right click to tell the computer I'm done selecting. And now I have this nice little cap on the dart and it has joined this to the outside and made this particular portion a separate object. You can't do this in the Deluxe Editor. Instead, what you need to do is change colors first to make it easier to work with. Draw a line, and I like to turn on my snap to end point. Draw a line from here to here. Nice and easy. I'm going to turn back my off my snap to end point and I'm going to zoom in on this area to make it easier where, to work with. Now I'm going to add a vertex. Is this a segment to select? Left click to select, right click to tell the computer I'm done selecting. Now if you pull that added vertex you can turn back on your snap to end point and now you've got your dart. So we're going to move the vertex and it asks me which object I want to move. Do I want to move this segment or do I want to move the vertex that's connected to the larger one? That's the one I want to move. So I click OK, point selected, left click to tell the computer I'm done selecting, select my base point, turn off my snap to end point and eyeball about right there and I've closed my dart in the deluxe editor. Hit end to zoom all. 